This is a aware one here with your daily dose of crypto awareness. I wanted to get on here real quick and uh, maybe not so quick. Get on here and go over some of what the big players in the, the crypto space and the financial world are doing as far as cryptocurrencies are concerned and maybe give you uh, a little bit of a, a heads up on where you should put your money or what might perform well as the crypto market progresses over the next couple of years. I want to start off with one that I've covered before just because I, I noticed uh, that there was a couple more additions and it's a big player in the game and that's the digital currency group. This is the digital currency groups uh, website and portfolio just dcg.co backslash portfolio digital currency group there as you'll see on this list they have bit they own coinbase there's they're one of the big players really big players they might be one of the future market makers and or just world makers just because they got into cryptocurrencies and they're kind of establishing the whole framework of cryptocurrencies around the world but so this is a digital currency group right here at the top we can see abra that's a app you can download that it's a really easy way to get involved in cryptocurrencies, hold your cryptocurrencies. You actually hold a private key to the Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin cash wallets currently. A lot of the other currencies that you can buy on there are more derivative products or like they're not, you're not buying the actual currency as of this point. It's more their own in-house, um, yeah, derivative type product that tracks the cryptocurrency. And so you can, it'll, it, you'll get the same gains, but you're not actually participating in those cryptos. So if you want to be part of the, the ecosystem of those specific cryptocurrencies, I would recommend actually buying those cryptocurrencies outside of it. But if you want to just get exposure to them, I know some people are like, I'm never buying Ripple or something like, technically you can get it on Abra and not buy the real Ripple. You're just buying something that tracks Ripple. So it's a workaround, kind of one of those things. But go ahead. There's a couple more. I haven't looked into a lot of them. I thought at first I was like, hey, on is that... Aeron, A E R O N, A R N is the sick tick ticker symbol for that one. I've heard a lot of chatter about Aeron lately. A R N might be a good one to look into, but I'm not recommending anything. Again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my um, observations and opinions. We scroll down here. There's some big names in here. Um, BitPay. They're big. They big. They're gonna uh, be uh, facilitate Bitcoin payments and deposit and trade to your bank. Kind of like, I think that might get involved with deposit, checks deposit and stuff like that. Bitwalla, that's a big blockchain over in, uh, or blockchain banking over in Germany. Blockchain, the uh, lending platform. I'm not sure if that's related to blockchain.com, the, the website and wallet. Blockstack, I hear that they used to have a lot of chatter about being like the more future um, third generation. And as this builds out in a few years, look for Blockstack. Blockstream, they control quite a bit of the Bitcoin core development, actually. And I believe they recently launched a bunch of satellites up into space because so to kind of make it so that they can secure the Bitcoin blockchain from space in case ever, anything ever happens to the Earth, the electrical grid down here on Earth. They're, they're doing big things. And again, they control more than 25% of the... Um, Bitcoin core development team works for Blockstream, I think. So that's just their hands in it in Bitcoin. So all those different talks about decentralization, there's different ways to be centralized, including development. But something to be aware of. Um, Brave, Brave browser, That look for that one to perform really well, challenge maybe even Google and Google Chrome as far as a blockchain-based browser and a new mode to... Um, track advertising and, and donate towards different content creators and stuff like that. It's important. Check out the Brave browser if you haven't downloaded that. I, this is actually the Brave browser that I'm using right now. It's actually looking a lot more like uh, Google Chrome. But it works really well and you get it. Yeah, it's, you can see the Brave um, token in the little line right there. Very protected. Uh, Baudu, Buddha, South American Cryptocurrency Exchange. Again, this is, you can see the digital currency group. They're spreading out and getting exchanges in all different countries. So keep an eye out. Uh, Carbon, a price stable cryptocurrency. 
Chainalysis is a firm that does a lot of um, analysis in, um, in yeah, analysis of blockchains, looking for fraud, especially in again, kind of stolen coins or issues like that. They they big into that, trying to track because people will move these coins all over the place, and it can be quite a pain. But Chainalysis is getting on that and trying to figure out how to make everybody accountable. Which you know, you know, you we're all going to end up paying our taxes eventually. Currently the slave of taxes, the slavery of taxes. Circle. Circle is a exchange here in the US. It was bought or funded by Goldman Sachs, where we heard that name before, right people? So yeah, and they have their own stable coin. I think it's the USDC, which you can buy on Coinbase. What? No way. Oh, yeah, because then look, Coinbase. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Goldman Sachs back circle, it's a Cryptocurrency exchange, digital bank and wallet, big civic. It's gonna be putting your identity basically on the um, blockchain. Secure identity. You, there's an app you can put on your phone. Again, here Coinbase, with the big one of the big players right now in the world, just trying to get people. Now this is again, look at just the mainstream world. How much the media controls the people. CoinDesk is one of the bigger publications currently in the the cryptocurrency space owned by the digital currency group of course they can just kind of dictate their narrative as they see fit so just be aware of that crypto awareness right let's see just kind of go through this this one's getting long uh draper dapper labs decent it's an affordable health care for all here's one i wanted to kind of take a look a little bit look closer look at just because of um a recent development this is eric eris x and I'll take you to this real quick. Crypto exchange USX raises 27.5 million from Fidelity, NASDAQ, Ventures, and others. Crypto exchange USX raised 27.5 million from Fidelity Investments and NASDAQ and Ventures. This was back on December 4th. NASDAQ is the world's second largest uh, stock exchange. And Fidelity is an investment firm. Currently, they will be tr spot trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, as well as future markets next year. So, did you hear that? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Fidelity, and NASDAQ. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. I will leave it with that. Let's get back over here. Etherscan, one of the most well known Ethereum uh, trackers. So crypto gym genesis global trading grayscale big fun digital currency focused asset manager look it up paxos hmm another stable coin what do you know it's almost like they're privatizing the dollar how would you privatize money slowly over time i would say get people to just give you their dollar and you give them back this thing privatization privatization decentralization is the name of the next decade or two folks Governments, everything, decentralized, including money. Kraken, one of the highest rated exchanges, and they actually get a lot of good rated, like uh, good props from the SEC and stuff, just for being open and honest. But check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get all these. we got some other stuff to look at, but as you can see, check out this. Uh, the Digital Currencies Group portfolio, Ripple. Ripple, of course, but in really case of the digital currency group, which owns Coinbase, highly invested in Ripple, but won't list Ripple on Coinbase because of the beef between the creator owners of them. That's just people, right? People. Hmm. But it's not going to go, yeah. What did I just see? S, S Fox, that, that had that big uh, recent development, I, I believe. So, Stratum, just Stratum. Hmm. Terminal two and token trade box. So yeah, I'm gonna just wire. That's a big name in the the, the greater world. Wire enterprise money transfer platform again. It's gonna transfer with uh, cha uh, challenge Western Union hmm. and Zappo, a major player in the Bitcoin wallet and custodial aspect. And Zcash also is gonna be one of the more reliable, I suppose, privacy coins just because they're so backed by the um, digital currency group. Who was it? Uh, Grayscale or one of these big funds also just released their own Zcash product. So Zcash might do well. 
I'm not sure what Zeppelin is. I gotta look into that. Here's one I wanted to look at. This is the Intercontinental Exchange. Back bocked as Crypto Chief Alexa. I'm not sure which one to say. This they recently made news by the ones that they're the ones that pulled their is it are they with Van Eck? I think it's Van Eck is with Bach. They're the ones that pulled their um crypt their Bitcoin ETF because of the uh, shutdown. No, they want to manipulate the price of cryptos, and that one needs you have to physically own the stuff you're using. But anyways, Intercontinental Exchange uh, tied into not Nasdaq. Uh, what's the other one? NYSC, just the big uh, exchanges here in the U.S. and on a uh, global scale, tied in with everything else. And this is what they're the crypto assets they're tracking. Again, you can just go to theice.com, figure out your way to navigate to this page. I might put a link below. But it just shows you that the crypto zero assets they're tracking. I know, and like, there's a lot of good ones on here. I know it's a few on here, like the Binance coin, because this is another crypto exchange. This is going to be another crypto exchange. They're not going to necessarily advertise for another crypto, but or another exchange. Anyways, there's some really good projects on here, and some that uh, you won't find. Like, here's the, the top 50 on Coinbase. These are the ones that they list. These are the ones you can buy on Coinbase. A lot of the other ones over here you'll see are actually on this other one, like Tezos, which isn't yet on Coinbase, VeChain, Waves. But there's some that aren't on that list. And there's some that I've talked about that aren't on the list. Is Cyber Miles on that list? I, I don't know if I talk about Cyber Miles. It's one that I actually, one of my first crypto conferences I went to, Cyber Miles was presented, and I'm like, sold. No, I really, really like it. See, they're, they're advertising the Binance Coin. Yeah, Cyber Miles isn't on here. Cyber Miles, they're trying to do e-commerce, like a com competitor possibly to like an eBay or Amazon, but with the Cyber Miles coin, and it's a really cool project in that you can um, kind of get stuff for free because you, on certain websites, you can buy things with the Cyber Miles tokens, but you almost buy it and slash stake it, and after a certain amount of time, you get your, your cyber miles back. So, but you get the item too, so you kind of get it for free. They're giving stuff to people for free to get them involved. I just look into it more. They also got a box, like a staking box. Cyber miles is a program, uh, a project that I think it's going to do well. It's just my opinion. Crypto.com, they're really developing a... a debit card and that kind of a system and I, I have another one I wanted to show you yeah this this um the crypto valley is top 50 in the quarter one of 2019 I'll go through that later but crypto.com is on there as well dash it's a good one decentralized digibyte here's one that's not on this coinbase list one of my favorites elastos and I have to give a shout out to crypto chico for finding this page I saw I need to talk about this but this is again this is a the last list is really under the radar. People are talking about EOS, Holochain, which is a similar, doing, trying to do something similar, not completely similar to the last list. But the fact that it's on this page, and I know I've seen pictures of the guy that created the last list, like meeting with um, Green Span, the guy that worked with the Fed. Like This is a big project, I think, behind the scenes, something big is going on. So get your get yourself a nice bag of the last list if just... For bulls, bull, bull market sake, that's not investment advice again. EOS, um, what would be token? Huh. Hmm. There's another exchange, and Huobi's trying to build, build out and make something big around the world, so keep an eye on Icon. I think they're going to do well, just big in South Korea. Then, then we're all, hu like, we're all humans, we're um, territorial and tribal. So a lot of these coins that, even though they might not have the strongest product or something, they got good marketing. Like, Tron's got good marketing, even though it's kind of uh, compared to other tech. But they got, man, Justin Sun's a marketer. So different things can uh, create success. So don't always just assume that tech could get you by. But Icon's got a lot of marketing or market uh, connections, too, and, and partnerships in South Korea. IOS. I love IELTS. I think it's going to be big in the future. And you currently, I've made a video on the past. You can check it out. And there's a link below. 
you can currently get involved and start voting on different nodes and stake and you get up until the March launch you can get 25% return on your stake so Kyber Network they're trying to really uh, connect every every blockchain really to, really focus on interoperability and and they're doing a good job of it so check it out again Litecoin Litecoin is the right coin Litecoin Nebulous Nebulous isn't on here, is it? I got I got a little bit of nebulous just because that was at ten dollars during the last one. Hold oh, there's a whole chain. Yeah, nebulous, keep an eye on nebulous and they, they they're they're struggling with some of the um just the bull the bear market. They laid off some of their staff, but they recently re um committed to locking up their tokens for like a, ten years or something. So they're dedicated to the program. They get they've get gotten pretty high ratings on the the Chinese rating index that's been released. I think they got bumped down recently, but I think long term Nebulous is a project to keep your eye on. Nam Neo, obviously Neo's complicated. We'll see what's happening. A lot of things going on. I actually think of the Neo ontology um, pair seems like a lot more focus is going towards ontology, and you can already do staking. And I, I made a video about that the other day, and if Anybody actually, I just found I just did, the O3 wallet has upgraded and you can actually do staking on the O3 wallet now, which is a little old, easier than the, the other one I showed. So yeah, the O3 wallet, download the O3 wallet and there's different app, dApps on there that easily can do staking for ontology. Again, you stake 500 ontology. I'm not sure right now what the percentage is, but it's decent. Oh, what was it? Yeah. Theta token. There's my, there's my. Mm, so that was the, there was a couple on here that I wanted to point out. It was Theta and Elastos. Not a lot of other platforms or big names are talking about, but this is ICE. Listen, tracking Theta token. They got their mainnet launching, I think, in March. And at that point, you're going to get... Uh, you could token swap, and you're also going to get five for one. They're, they're kind of like their gas feature on there, I think. God, what do they call it? It was originally called Gamma, but I know they renamed it. I can't remember what they call it, like Theta Power, Theta Gas, or something. But that's coming up in March, so that's why it's starting to pump recently. Like again, some psychic Michelle White Dove said, and and a couple of the remote viewers. And this was back even maybe right after the bull run, right in like January of 2018. They're like. Something about Theta going to thousands of dollars. Ah, somebody's trying to write back, like, you need to study economics. I'm like, no, I do not. I understand the freaking concept of market cap. Number of tokens times X number. And he's like, you need to understand economics. I'm like, no. I realized that that would put Theta over a trillion dollars. You don't understand that things change over time. Because we're also focused on thinking from a paycheck to paycheck that we don't have a little bit of long-term perspective. People are so goddamn short-sighted. Anyways, <laughs> look at the Theta token. It's I've even on the they're starting to show commercials for Honda on there now. You guys don't understand what's happening as far as decentralization and there's just so much data. It's it's impractical for a uh, YouTube or any of these other organizations to centrally hold all the data and make it easily dispersible amongst the rest of us humans. It's it's not efficient. Things are going to change. It has to. That's why things are, it's all just happening. Look at Theta. <laughs> and VeChain's another one. They, a lot of people get a lot of shit for it, but mm, it generates VeChain for. But this again, a lot of, I think all these are probably actually going to do well. This, they're being tracked by ICE. They're not going to track all, like if you go to Coin Coin Market Cap, there's 2,117 coins. This is a shorter list for you to look look into and pick from. Again, go to theice.com and you can get yourself here. I wanted to again show this one. This is the uh, the Crypto Valley's top 50. And this again, they're just, these people are showing, I'm gonna take a closer look at this. They're showing which projects seem to be doing good in this space. And the, just kind of, you don't, you don't have to do all the research on your own all the time. But I wanted to point out a couple here. Over here in the the financial industry, you got salt, but Nexo is a project you can actually invest in now and and earn 
from the tokens, if you put the Nexo tokens on the Nexo platform, every quarter they you can do they'll deposit Bitcoin into your account for a proportion of the 30% of the total fees I think generated from the Nexo token is distributed to the token holders that hold the tokens on the platform. So if you want another passive income, but again, this of all there's only it's the only one in the lending and funding. Salt's not on there. I don't, I, I'm not too sure what's going on with the Salt program recently. Some other uh, worthwhile ones that I look at. Again, here's the Crypto.com. It almost looks like a Starship Trooper, right? That's pretty cool. Makes me want to buy it just for that fact. Um, token Pay, T Pay. Is there a symbol maybe? Like, there's Zappo again from Coinbase, right? Or from the Digital Currency Group. I do. I remember I have that on one of my my uh, that, my tablets. Old wallet. I never really used it, but hmm, maybe we'll have to look into them more. I recently looked into this one, Melonport. Actually, I looked at this earlier and I saw Melonport on there, and they're doing it performed well, I think, over on Coin Market Cap. Check it out. Um, Ambrosius. The only reason I've gotten into this one recently is because I, I got one of them delivered to my wallet the other day. Just, a couple, and another wallet got one Ambrosius delivered. I'm like, oh, they're trying to, I don't know what they're trying to do, track people or make you people like, look at this coin, you got one free, because nobody wants just one. Now there's just one sitting in my coin, in my wallet, that's done, right? So either I'm going to, no, nah, it's not even worth selling that, sending that one, because it'll probably cost more gas for Ethereum, uh, Ethereum gas than it would, like it's worth, right? So clearly it's trying to make me buy it and hold it. Man, that's behaviorism at, at its core. That's, I love being a behaviorist. And you, yeah, duh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's some good, again, here's Icon. Here's one I wanted to talk about, Tezos. I've done a video on that one, I think. Tezos is long-term, people. If you were around and when Neo was like below a dollar and then it shot up over a hundred dollars last year and you're like, damn it. This is an investment advice, but Tezos, right? I'm then you can get a little bit of, of staking right now, but keep your eye on Tezos. Cord Cardano Foundation. I know people don't like Charles Hoskinson and Cardano, but mm -mm. putting in the work apparently. Waze Platform, Ethereum, Definity, Aragon. Over here, Bitmain and mining's in Bitmain. Bitmain's been struggling, but maybe they're just shifting around. Golem for the Netherlands. But yeah, those are one those are the ones I mainly wanted to point out on this. Just this is some good projects. Keep your eye on Tezos, Cardano, and here's a, another graphic just to show you like people wonder where money is putting, where people are putting their money. This is that this is the, the the actual kind of representation of where different money is going for those different projects on that last page. You can see Card Ethereum is clearly the biggest. Boom. Even though they're having all this weird stuff go on and Constantinople got has been postponed twice now. I said that before. This bug isn't anything new. But anyways, be wary. I'm wary of Ethereum. I'm actually more interested in Ethereum Classic than Ethereum, personally. But that's just me. Waste platform over again. But look at look at the size of Cardano. That's almost... That's the second biggest Ethereum. Cardano better... I mean, yeah. Keep an eye on Cardano, people. Like, That's another one. Neo at, uh, below a buck. Cardano at these prices right now, just, it's better than going to a casino. That's all I'm saying. At least you can, like, you and, like, the market's falling. I'm still holding some coins, right? You go to the casino, you, like, slot machine or whatever, your money's just gone. Cards aren't worth anything. <laughs> Anyways. But, yeah, here's Tezos. They got, a, they got a pretty good chunk. Even though it's not, like, there was a bunch of controversy and all that stuff, they're still being sued. Somebody trying to make make them seem like they're securities. Golem. There's that crypto.com little Starship Trooper mask. But those are a couple. Check out these. Keep your eye on. There's Icon. Zappo. They don't have a coin. They need to get a coin, apparently. We looked at their crypto there. And here's Grayscale. Just one more. We saw Grayscale over on the Digital Currency Group list. And this is just large-scale investments. And here's their... Um, 
through t June 20, 2018, June 30, 2018. Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Classic. Did they put more Ethereum Classic than they did? Ethereum? Huh? Zcash, Ethereum, uh, large cap. Bitcoin, Cash, and Ripple, and Litecoin. Anyways, that was the main thing. I just wanted to, really, this got me uh, encouraged actually to make this video is that this this tracking thing that Chico Crypto put up from the uh, ICE Intercontinental Exchange and the coins that they're tracking and that fact that Elastos and Theta Token are on here amidst some other really good projects. Again, people, if you don't want to go through the hassle, and there's lots of good projects that are going to do really well that are on this list that you can find them on Coin Market Cap, but for the sake of not trying to find your way through 2,000 coins, and even some of these even, just Bitcoin, just focus on Bitcoin, maybe Bitcoin Cash, but all the other Bitcoins, I mean, I don't know. I don't focus on them. I don't even own that much Bitcoin, but that's just a personal choice. My, I like Litecoin. Um, and there's some of these coins that aren't going to do that well. They just got to mix it up and can't make it too easy on us. But check out this. That's your crypto awareness for the day. Hope everybody enjoys. And enjoy your Sunday.